DC state where the governor turned down Amateur's request and backed his opponent. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, has been going to different states in Nigeria seeking for support over his presidential ambition. Recently, Amechi visited some states to seek support of the party leaders and members. However, his request was not granted in two states in the southwest. This article will discuss the two states where Amechi's request was turned down and the governors went ahead to declare support for his rivals. 1. Lagos State Amechi visited Lagos State days ago to seek support for his presidential bids. He was received by Governor Babajide Sambolu and other leaders of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC at Lagos House Marina. The minister took time to explain his achievements, plans and what he believes makes him stand out for the post of president. He then requested that he needs the backing of Lagos State. However, Governor Samwalu turned down Amechi's request. According to Daily Post, Samwalu plainly told Amechi that he and his people are strongly backing APC national leader as Sewaji Bola Tenembo for president. 2. Ogun State This was the state Amechi visited before coming to Lagos. He met party leaders, elders and members of the All Progressive Congress. He conversed for their support and persuaded them to back him, adding that he is young, agile and experienced to do well if elected president. They did not declare the support for Amechi. Afterwards, Governor Dakbo Abiodu openly announced that he and his people are backing the Vice President, Prof. Yemi Usibanjo, for the same post. Usibanjo is running for the same post and makes him an opponent to Amechi. With two states out, Amechi may still travel his luck in the remaining four states in the southwest and the state in other parts of Nigeria. But from all indications, or your state may prove hard for Amechi in the southwest because it is ruled by the main opposition party. Well, it is getting heated up and tensed as the day draws near. The day of the primary, everybody is anticipating, everybody is overworking themselves. Some are doing a whole lot more. Some are going to, I mean, doing a whole lot of things to make sure that emerge as their party's flag bearer. I supposed. Amechi is a time waster. I have told him many times that Asiwaju is our next president. But the locks don't will listen to Huston blowing trumpet. Are you really serious? I've said it before. I don't have issue with you picking a candidate. But please, can you just do us the honor of not forcing him down our truth? Stop using our. Please make it your. Even my own candidate cannot be the same as yours. Everybody has the power of choice. Your opinion, though. Nigeria is not a personal property like Lagos, where one greedy man will want to make his family estate. That said, Sinobu can never become the next president of Nigeria, not in this generation. Hmm. So you want to produce more albums and fake passwords? <laughs> You go shock you. You think Ogun oh, Lagos will decide who get APC tickets? Huh. Hunters don't blow trumpet, but we so bro. Tunumbu may also be rejected in the South South State, where Amechi comes from. So Nigerian politics is more complex than you think, because we still allow tribal sentiments play greater role in our politics, thereby sacrificing merits and competence in governance. God will bless you for this. God will so bless you. For this and that's our problem you see and forget if we remove tribalism if we remove nepotism if we remove favoritism and eh, our religious bigotry and nigeria is going to be a little close to perfect yes if we remove all these things eh, and face our challenges head on as we're supposed to i don't think that we're going to be having there's some problems that will be raised 
First of all, the claw will fall from our eyes that we are not each other's enemy, that we are either both of us, all of us are victims of our circumstances, of the circumstances which circumstances bad leadership. Then we will now start looking at a problem which is insecurity. Insecurity is a problem that has affected us all. Economy is a problem that has affected us all. Education has affected us all. You see those things that affect all of us. We start we stop looking at it from uh, this particular region and we start looking at it from a national perspective. And with that, we are going to find an approach. Before you know it, we have found solutions and we have started putting them in action. Sincerely, that's just it. The day we learn how to live, how to live together, the day we learn that see you, this thing is not is not. Uh, we did not come into Nigeria to compete with each other, but rather we came into Nigeria to complement one another. That is when we start getting things right in this country. It's going to affect how we do election because when election now come, we know that ah, it is actually competency that we want. And I've even said it severally before. If Nigeria were a place where people come in and they do their bits, hmm? people come into power and they do their bits, no matter how they came into power, they came into power and they actually served. Sincerely, Nigeria will not even be in this mess. In fact, we are not, we are not even going to be bothered. As far as Nigeria is moving on, there is a, a, there is a, a good economic condition, an appointment, allocation of appointments and resources, Nobody is crying, marginalized, everything is equal. There is justice and fairness. Do you think that Nigerians will even care? We won't care. We will not care at all. The whole lot of us will not care. Because for all we know, things are going well. And to get to that point, we have to come together. Okay. Let the major continue to try his beg. It is politics. That is the governor. That the governor declares about twelve minutes is not the end of the road for him. Okay. Amichi did well by coming to Lagos. It's not everyone that will vote to Rambo. Primary is the main thing. Exactly. Those who are even telling, those who are saying, I'm of the opinion that fine. He even, she even tried. He mustered the courage. He knows that this place is a no go area. That these people here, they're under one person. That is that's the notion now that almost everyone in Lagos is, is going to vote for Turnbo. But he found the courage to come down here. And that is something. Well, you should go pushing because the primaries are almost here. And you know that after the primaries, let me say the game is now in our hands. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.